difference between Salafi and Sunni. If you want the definition, but before I say the definition, here in Huda TV, and since we started, we do not belong to any country, any group, any party. We only represent the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ according to what the companions transmitted to us and how they understood it, and the reliable scholars' views. Imam Abu Hanifa, Shafi'i, Malik, Ahmad ibn Hanbal, Sufyan al Thawri, Imam Bukhari, Imam Muslim, etc. So you will not find us propagating any particular madhab. So we're addressing all people, particularly laymen, ordinary Muslims, who do not know much about Islam. We say, you say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. You offer your five daily prayers, you fast, you give your zakah if you're eligible. You perform hajj, you avoid uh, getting involved in sins, particularly major sins. You avoid uh, associating with Allah any of the major or minor acts of shirk. You're a good Muslim, alhamdulillah. Most Muslims have no clue about the, uh, the alteration or the negation of the asma and the sifat and all of that. So we are catering for average Muslims and we do not ask anyone to follow a particular group if you are following the path of the Quran and the Sunnah Alhamdulillah you're a Muslim the word Sunni and you're following the Sunnah and normally Sunni is mentioned in contrast with the Shi'is or with the Sufis so Sunnis are those who are adhering to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the sound Sunnah others they reject the Sunnah or any yun, they say we don't believe in it. They are non-Muslims. There are others who are Muslims, but they take it lightly. When it comes to the Sunnah, they do not perceive it as something important and as authoritative as the Quran. They're messed up as well. Or they deny some of the sound hadith of the Prophet. So the word Sunni, يعني, they adhere to the Sunnah of the Prophet. And that has a lot to do with being one of the saved party. The sister asked about the hadith of the 73 sects, all of whom will be uh, in hell except for one. When the Prophet ﷺ was asked about the nature, the name of this one group, he spoke about traits and characteristics. He did not mention names. Rather, he said, those will be following whatever I and my followers following today. I and my companions following today. That's why they, they call them following the predecessors. Whether you're doing that without taking the title or the name, or you're taking it, you're following, alhamdulillah, the way of the Prophet Sallallahu and the predecessors. I do not necessarily have to call myself that name. What counts is actions which do speak louder than words. We don't want, we don't want to limit something which is very specious. The Ummah is huge, 1.8 billion Muslims. Many of them do not even pray. Many of them do not know much about Islam. So I'm catering for every Muslim.